All right, so continuing our journey towards a better understanding of the base 12 version of pi, we're going to keep looking at the geometry of this dodecagon shape. We're going to keep looking at the inner ring so we really understand its dimensions. So in this video, we're going to look at the diameter of this uh, pattern or basically the distance across its center in units of square root of 2. So you can see here that that distance is 0.96 from the center to the edge. And again, this is uh, base 12. So that 0.96 six is, or 0 0.6 is half of 1. So that's halfway through the last section of the square root of 2. And then 2 times 0.96 is 1.7. So 1.7 root 2 is the total length of that line on the inside of the dodecagon. So what I want to do now is actually divide that 0.96 in half. So 0 0.96 root 2 divided by 2 is 0 0.49 root 2. So we have four sections of 0.9 or 0.49 root 2 um, making up the total length of the inside of the dodecagon. So that four, that distance of four, that amount of four, when we multiply that by three, because we know ultimately that the diameter goes into the circumference of the circle three times. So three times four is 12, and there's 12 sides to our dodecagon pattern. And each of those sections is 0.5 root 2 in length. So we have a distance of 0.5 root 2. We have a section of diameter that's 0.49 root 2. So you subtract 0.49 from 5. You have a remainder of 0 0.03 root 2. So each little section of you know, perimeter and diameter generates a little bit of empty space between. So what we're going to be doing in this model of pi is actually evenly distributing that empty space in that relationship between the diameter and the circumference throughout the circumference. Unlike the current model of pi, which basically has a straight line with a gap at the end. If we went to Wikipedia, we would see a wheel with a diameter of 1 rolling out on the x-axis, and then that line would have the length of pi, and we know that there's literally millions and billions and trillions of digits of pi, and then there's still a little gap at the end that isn't quite being filled, and that's where all those digits are going. So this current value of pi that I'm showing you is going to actually disperse that empty space throughout the circle. So it's a little bit different. I feel this is a more accurate version when it comes to a version of pi that actually reflects reality, where we all know that there's a lot of empty space dispersed throughout the physical universe. <laughs> okay, so I hope you can join me for the future videos where I show you how we first build a diagram that generates all 360 degrees with the degree lines actually going out between those uh, empty spaces. And then from there, we'll just keep going on until we get to the actual numbers that represent the base 12 version of pi. So again, hope you can join me for that. Thanks for watching.